Hi, my name is uh, Alej Martinez, and this is work done in, uh, by my students, Fabian Benitez Quiroz and Ramper Crash Rinibasan. Our goal uh, in this work is to fully automatically analyze a large number of facial expressions in the wild. A facial expression is produced by activating a unique set of facial muscles. Typically, these facial muscles are numbered, and these numbers are usually called action units. For example, action unit one, or AU1, activates a facial muscle that results in the raising of the inner corners of the eyebrows, while action unit 20, or AU20, activates a muscle which results in the outer stretching of the lips. As you can see in the images of AU1 active, the image variability is very high, even at the area of activation, which is shown here within a yellow circle. The same is true for AU20 and all other AUs. This image variability increases when we wish to model different intensities of AU activation. The image variability is even more apparent in images of facial expressions in the wild, shown in this slide. Gender, ethnicity, color, illumination, identity, and a very large number of expressions make this problem extremely challenging. For this reason, to date, research on the recognition of action units has been limited to a single database collected in the lab. That is, even when the facial expressions are spontaneous, the data is collected in the lab and independent portions of the same database are used for training and testing the system. We propose a first algorithm that can deal with the large image variability seen in the wild and use it to annotate 1 million images. The key idea of our paper is to represent this image variability as distinct subclasses of the same class. Specifically, each AU is classified as either active or not active and allowed to be active at four different intensities. In this approach, images with different facial expressions and different intensities of AU activation are represented as independent subclasses, as shown here. This makes classification of AUs and their intensities robust to the image variations mentioned earlier. This method actually works so well that the cross-validation results within a database collected in lab conditions are almost perfect. As you can see in the top plot here, the F1 scores are almost all to, uh, at one for a large number of tested AUs. Even when training on two databases and testing on a completely different database, the results are very accurate as shown in the bottom plot. Note that in this case, the image conditions in these databases vary tremendously, yet the F1 scores are still very high. The resulting algorithm can now be used to detect AUs in facial expressions in the wild, as shown here using two images of the Sochi Olympic. These images have been automatically annotated by our algorithm. In fact, our algorithm's correct detection rate in images in the wild is about 81% correct, and moreover, our algorithm runs faster than real time. We have used this system to download and automatically annotate a million images of facial expressions in the wild. Images were annotated by AU, AU intensity, as well as emotion category and affect concept. Emotion categories are defined by facial expressions with a specific set of AU activation. For example, happiness is defined when AUs 12 and 25 are active. Affect concepts are given by WordNet. Please stop by our poster to learn more about this work and to see a live demo. Thank you.